Hello everyone, welcome back to another tutorial of RoomSys Admin 102. If you are new to my channel, don't forget to uh, subscribe, like, and share at the end of the video if you think the tutorial is helpful. And if you are my return viewer, thank you for your support. In today's video, I will show you how to install Peros Security OS uh, ARM on Apple Silicon using uh, UTM in uh, native QEMU. And the link for the tutorial is going to be included down in the descriptions. So first step, you will need to download the Parrot OS for UTM. So you're going to select download and then that will take you to a Parrot security download page. Uh, so the two versions, we're going to focus on the security editions and the home editions. So the option is your, if you uh, select security edition, select download and select uh, UTM Apple Silicon. Uh, and likewise, if you select the home edition, same thing, you will select download and UTM Apple Silicon. I already have the uh, the security uh, editions downloaded. So we're going to extract this to the UTM default folder. And I'm going to show you the post installation, what you have to do to get it up and running. All right, so for step number two, we will extract the zip file and import the Parrot OS VM to uh, UTM. Two ways you can do it, you can manually extract the file and copy it into the UTM default location where they keep all the VM file, which is uh, located right here. Uh, however, if you want to use the terminal, uh, you have the option to do that. For the demonstrations, I'm going to use the terminal to extract the file into the default UTM folder. So first, I'm going to use the CD command to change the directory to download. And since I have a lot of file in here, I'm using the list command with the piping. And we're going to look for anything with Parrot in it. There we go. And I'm going to extract the Parrot OS security. Uh, you can copy this command. It's a lot quicker. Uh, however, at the time of this tutorial, it's, uh, the name is Parrot-security-5.4 three underscore arm 64 dot utm dot zip uh, for future versions if you're using this tutorial make sure you change the name all right all right and it completes uh, extracting the zip file into the utm default folder next we're going to open that vm All right, now that we have the Parrot security successfully imported to UTM, the next step is to uh, set up the share directory and we have to change the field settings. So share directory, you will select uh, browse and select whatever you want to set it up at share directory. For the tutorial, I'm using the downloads folder. And we're going to select settings. And from setting, if you select the penguin icon, you can uh, select a custom icon from here or um, you can upload your uh, own custom icon. We're going to select uh, Parrot OS icon. And I'm going to go to uh, QEMU and select uh, U local time. And we're going to set it. All right. And we're going to start the VM. Okay. We're going to press enter. The next step, I'm going to show you how to enable clipboard sharing. So this is uh, optional. It's something that you can skip if you do not want to enable clipboard sharing. And next, we're going to open up a terminal. And from there, we're going to do the sudo app update command. All right. And once you've done that, you would uh, install the spy agent using the sudo app install and spy dash vd and enter and when that completed we're going to reboot for it to take uh, effect next step i will show you how to mount a directory so we can uh, copy this command right here i'm going to go back to uh, the vm and we're going to open up a uh, terminal. All right. So I'm going to create a new folder. You can use uh, the make dirt command. 
to make a new folder and we call it uh, share and next I'm gonna paste the uh, command I just copied it earlier and then we're gonna give it the malpoy which is gonna be a uh, home and parrot and then uh, the folder we just created share and then we're gonna copy the the rest of the command and we're gonna paste it in here and enter and it mounted the share folder so if you have a permission issue you would run the command sudo chow dash r and then uh, user and then you would provide the malpoy so it's gonna be home parrot and share and that would fix the permission issue so mm, it didn't show the permission issue for me is that because I already um, run this when I installed the Kali Linux but uh, if you have any issue this should fix the permission issue and next I'm gonna show you how to permanently uh, add it to the FS tab so that's why every time you turn it on it automatically mount uh, the share directory for you and in order to do that, we have to unmount the current uh, share. So what you're going to do is you're going to use the command sudo u for unmount and then share and then the path to the, that directory and enter. And that will unmount the current uh, share directory. And then we can do uh, sudo nano etc and f s tap enter i'm gonna go to the last line and we're gonna copy the share and then we're gonna give it a malpoy which is home and then uh, parrot and share And again, we're going to copy the rest of the command. All right. And you will select uh, Control X and Y for yes and enter to save the file. And once you uh, reboot, it's going to take uh, effect. And after reboot the Para Security OS, notice the share, it automatically mount on your desktop. And that concluded today's tutorial. If you think the video is helpful, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.